Hey everybody, welcome to Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elasticsearch in Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. This is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. In episode four, we learned that there are multiple ways you can access Elasticsearch and Kibana. And we learned how you can download and run these two products on your own machine. In today's episode, we'll cover how to run Elasticsearch and Kibana using the Elastic Cloud. So the Elastic Cloud provides Elasticsearch and Kibana as a service. Unlike the free self-managed option, the Elastic Cloud does all the heavy lifting of provisioning the host, managing security, and backing up your data. So this way, you could focus more of your energy on your product instead. Now, you get a 30-day free trial with Elastic Cloud so you could determine if this is the right option for you. And I find that for beginners, it's easier and faster to get started with Elastic Cloud, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, you'll find this link very helpful throughout the series. This is a go-to link for all the resources I'll share with you this season, and this link is also included in the description of the video. So first, go to this link and click on part one. Then it'll take you to this repo here. Scroll down to the resources section, then click on free Elastic Cloud trial. Then you'll see the free trial page. By the time this video was made, the version of the Elastic Stack was 7.14.0. There may be a new version of the Elastic Stack available by the time you watch this video. The UI may look a little different, but the steps should be relatively similar. So first, click on Try It Free option. Once you do that, it'll prompt you to enter your email and password and start your free trial. Then it'll ask you to log into your Elastic Cloud account. Enter your information and log in. This will take you to the page here where you'll click on Start Your Free Trial. Once you do that, it'll ask you to create your first deployment. Name your deployment to whatever it makes sense to you, then click on Edit Settings option. Then it'll give you options to configure your deployment settings. First, you would choose a cloud provider of your choice. So let's say you have an app and you want to integrate it with Elasticsearch. If your app is running on Google Cloud, you don't want Elasticsearch running in a different cloud provider because that'll cause latency issues. But for what we're about to do, it doesn't matter which one you choose, so just select one. Afterwards, select the region close to you, then select your hardware profile. So Elasticsearch offers several deployment templates for different use cases and workload. Each template selects appropriate cloud hardware configuration for different needs. But if you're just getting started or don't quite know your needs yet, then go with the storage optimized option. Then select the latest version of the Elastic Stack, which at the moment is 7.14.0. Once you have configured your setting, click on Create Deployment option. This will display the deployment credentials. Save the credentials somewhere as these are only shown once. Then click on Continue option. And this option will take you to the Kibana homepage. When you click on DevTools, it'll take you to the Kibana console. So click on this miss and delete the default query shown here. And now we're ready to use Kibana to send requests to Elasticsearch. In future episodes, we'll use a Kibana console to send various Elasticsearch requests. So make sure to have this pulled up in future episodes. All right, we just learned how you can run Elasticsearch and Kibana via the Elastic Cloud. So the content we covered is an excerpt from the Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Stack Part 1. Part 1 is a full-length workshop where I cover the use cases of the Elastic Stack, when you should consider using Elasticsearch and Kibana, and how to perform CRUD operations with these two products. So if you prefer the full-length workshop format, check out the link shown on the screen. And the link is also included in the description of this video.
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Mini Beginner's Crash Course to Elastic Search in Kibana.